I think the most important thing for, for a human being to understand is very simply that we are in this world to grow. If you understand that, then there's no longer, and there doesn't have to be any confusion anymore or any displacement or any suffering or agitation or anything. If you really understand that, then it's very possible for you to have peace in your life very quickly. Peace in yourself and peace in your life very quickly. Growing means fully awakening the energetic mechanism that you are, that underlies your physiology. Now, in spiritual work and in religion, there are basically two pathways that people move into it, into growing. One is more intellectual or philosophical, and the other is more devotional. Ultimately, those two pathways have to come together. And there has to be the devotional and the intellectual have to come together for us to really understand the total field of our experience. And finally, as when, when we are growing, the energetic mechanism is fully awakened and the flow within the mechanism is expanding as the field of the mechanism itself is expanding. Which means we are taking in more experience, more because experience is energy, and we are digesting, absorbing and digesting that energy, which is feeding, and nur feeding us and nourishing us and feeding our energetic mechanism and allowing it to expand. And as this expansion happens, finer and finer energies become accessible to us because the tensions that we are encased in are breaking down as the flow is expanding, which means that you know, we can really feel the, and experience and be nourished by the very fine energies that are available within the atmosphere available within the field of our life to touch us in deep and meaningful ways. And at the same time, the tensions are breaking down all the difficult circumstances that we face, all the challenges, all the pain, all the suffering, all the disappointment, also is breaking down. The heavy denseness within us is breaking down. And that energy, too, is nourishing us and creating pathways by which the pathology that has accumulated within us can be exported out of our body, out of our mechanism, out of our system, so that our whole range of motion, our whole respiratory capacity, our whole experience of the breath of life itself is continuously expanding and refining itself as it does. That's so fantastic. The thing is this, you have to, this is your, your work in this growing, is, it's not rocket science, it's actually unbelievably simple. It just needs to be done. This is the hard part for people doing it. You have to make contact with your energetic mechanism every day. You have to really be in touch with yourself, but not your thoughts, because that's all noise. And your feelings are really transitory as well, although it's a good thing to be, it's better to be in touch with your feelings. But that too will dissolve as you are simply in touch with the energy. And it doesn't matter at that point how you are feeling about the energies that are coming into you, that is irrelevant. You know, what is important is you are being deeply nourished by it because you have opened in yourself to a place that is deeper than everything that's coming at you. 
taking this in, we are consciously creating entirely new, they're not new, they're, we're awakening new pathways, pathways that are new to us because, you know, we haven't been, we inherited this dysfunctional mechanism from a, from a dysfunctional family system that we emerged into. And so it's, there are new pathways for us that we are awakening by our conscious effort. We are creating new energetic pathways. We are training our, our mind. We are training our neural pathways to move the energy through us in ways that is genuinely nourishing and dissolving tension instead of creating tension and building our ego. And it's work. I mean, sometimes it is delicious, divine, such beautiful work. I mean, sometimes it's, you know, hard and hurtful and digesting painful experiences is, is not easy. Uncovering painful places within us is not easy, but it's so important. And a lot of the time it's just practice. It's a practice that we do out of our love of life and our appreciation for the extraordinary opportunity that is, who knows why, landed itself in our lap to really make something of our life. Most of the time, we go through life with such a small mechanism that even the most petty bullshit nonsense nothing causes us to completely shut down. And to, you know, lots of people stay shut down forever. This is, is not the way to have a real life. To have a real life, you have to have some determination, first of all, to have a real life, to grow. And then the next thing is you have to be willing to dig into yourself, to reach inside and make contact and hold the contact so that you are really digesting and absorbing and transcending all your experiences. And then you have an ever-increasing quantity of experience. You live a a big life, and you have an ever, in, ever re increasingly refined quality of experience because you are grounded within yourself in that place in which everything is really beautiful all the time. So the external you are digesting from a place that is pure love unconditional love, a place that sees the symmetry and the beauty and the elegance and the mystery and the magic in life. It is a place that is aware of this magic all the time. Real life is not at Fred's. You will not find real life at Fred's. You're not going to find it at Costco. It ain't walking down the street on Sandy Boulevard. All of that is imaginary life. That is the, all of, that is the accumulation of all of the delusion that exists in humanity over the ages. The, rea the reality of life is within you. Real life is within you. True life is within you. It's not complicated or hard to find. 
feel your breath. Be aware of your breath and feel it moving in you. It's that simple. And as you find this sweetness, which grows and expresses its, its power and its magic, its, its beauty, the delusion will dissolve and the reality will be where you live every day. How cool is that? Namaste, everybody. Namaste. I'm very, very happy to be with you.